Well, the much requested shop tour video is happening. Um, the guys are hauling corn to town, so it's just me in here. I figured what better time to do it. And it's mostly clean in here. First up, we have this nice coat rack, which I have to jump to reach because this place is not built for short people or even average people. No, actually, my dad wanted it this way. Um, so when he hung up all the Carhartt overalls and stuff, that it wasn't touching the floor um, and wasn't anywhere near the floor. Got a nice shop sink. Um, of course, everyone knows the orange soap. My dad's one request for this place was a water fountain. Said it would make him drink more water. That hasn't happened. Um, my brother's old college fridge because our nice one broke. And then the shop. Um, yeah, it's not too dirty in here. Actually, now that I'm making a video, it, there's more stuff out than I thought, but oh well. So, plenty big enough to fit a couple of two, three tractors in here. Um, goes all the way around. I don't remember what actual, like the actual measurements are. Um, I'll have to ask about that. But, it's kind of nice. Uh, everything's pretty accessible. My dad built this 10, 11, 12 years ago, somewhere around there. I was in high school. And then, another door, and then there's air hoses and reels all the way around. I think there's four of them, which makes it really handy. And then, roll out extension cords, everything a shop could need. A garage door that most of our stuff will fit through. And then this door actually swings out. Over here, we've got the welding table. I'm gonna turn the lights on. So all the welding stuff is over here. My dad actually built this table and it rolls. It's really nice. Um, all the stuff mounted on there. Cabinets for everything. And then this is pretty much where all of the tools are kept. And honestly, it stays pretty organized for the most part. We've got all of this, the bins for all of the nuts, bolts, washers, pretty much everything you can imagine. And then, let's see, we've got all of these drawers. They're all labeled, so it's, it's pretty difficult to not find what you're looking for. And then this is actually really cool. So our workbench is actually an old bowling alley. Um, so you can't really tell with all of the stuff on it. Like I said, this is the time of year when we're working on stuff in the shop. So everything is, is out right now, but it is really neat. I don't remember where my dad got it or found it, but, and it's super long. In here, We've got the radio for the sound system that goes all through the shop. We've got the moisture tester. We keep it in here during the winter or pretty much all the time except for harvest rather than out in the scale house. And then these are all just filing cabinets full of manuals for all of the equipment, everything you can imagine. And then all of our globes. And then this is all the stuff, pretty much all of the important stuff you need for the tractors is in here. This is like what mounts the iPads and stuff on the tractor windows. On to the next room. The next door, we've got everyone's boots. It stays really warm in here since the water heater and everything is in here. Actually, the entire floor, like we have floor heat. So when we built it, we ran the coils like through the wire or whatever. I don't remember exactly how it works. But basically, super hot water runs through it and it heats the f like from the floor up. Um, so it's more constant and doesn't really vary that much. So we pretty much have it sat on like 60, I think it's set on 66. Um, 
all winter. Keeps it nice and toasty. More organization, more organization. A few of my dad's toys that didn't make it in the office. And what next? I guess we can go upstairs. Oh, there is one more room down here. Oh, my dad also really loves his signs. So we have this one that says, it is what it is. Um, one of the old guys used to work here. He got that from my dad. We got a Bubba Gump license plate that I got in Hawaii and my dad put it up there. So, more storage. In here, we've got pretty much everything you could ever need. This is all cleaning supplies, more cleaning, like grease, everything, RV antifreeze, towels and everything up here, shop rags, spray paint, like anything you can imagine air compressor, portable welding thing, portable air compressors, all the hoses, air hoses, everything. And then just some random stuff. I'm not really sure what's all is over there. Have this nice little cubby for all the oil. And then this is actually nice. Um, this is where we have like all of hydraulic fluid, 1540. Super handy to have. So my dad spent a lot of time um, working. Obviously he works incredibly hard. Probably one of the hardest working people I know. So he definitely deserved to build something this nice. As he said, he spends the majority of his time working. So he might as well make it a nice place. Up here, just a ton more storage. We keep all the belts, most of them right here. And then if we go down here, <laughs> this is where it turns into like family storage. Like we have the old Nordic track ski machine, our old puppet show from when we were kids. And then this is all like my, mostly mine. I think some of my brother and sisters, but all of our old toys and totes. Just like another little storage room over there. All that's in there is my sister's stuff. And then this is like another really cool thing that my dad, he like thought all of this out so well. Um, just the doors to open up so you could like forklift stuff up here. Um, so just double doors. And this makes for a really nice viewing area for the pickleball court. It's a great spot to heckle from. And then at the top of the stairs, another storage room. So chemicals, paint stains, all the backpack sprayers so that stuff doesn't like freeze up or anything. Um, stays up here where it's warm. We've got all the fuel, like every filter imaginable. Some more belts. This is all of the John Deere storage. So we just have like some parts on hand. And then light bulbs paint stuff, wiring stuff, like electric. Everything you could need. Before this, my dad, actually, we have the old shop that we use for storage now. Um, I don't remember, it was a lot smaller. Like, the whole thing could fit into this shop. And then my dad's office over there was like the size of a closet. It had no windows. And after working there for, I don't even know how, like since he was for like 30 years, I want to say, um, he decided when he built like his new office and new shop, it was going to have all the windows, windows on every possible wall. So here's the shop office. Another thing that was really useful is having a kitchen here. Like I said, we spend a ton of time here. Even if it's just like lunch meat, it's nice to be able to get stuff ready. And this is the shop office. So it's a little bit of a mess right now, actually a lot of mess, but it's paperwork season. Um, got the DTN over here and storage, um, storage cabinet, all the cabinets for all kinds of storage. 
TV. And then, of course, we've got all the toys. Those are all old bottles that we found or my dad has found. And then up there, just more toys. And this part actually is really cool. So that is our farm logo. And we had a family friend put that into all of the um, woodwork. And then these, they don't have the H, but it's got the design in it. And then just the bedroom, which is a mess right now. Like I said, my dad spends the majority of his time here. And when he is drying corn um, and has to check the corn dryer every single hour of the night, or like a lot of times we will like work just ridiculous hours during planting, especially the last couple years when it's been um, terrible conditions. So we just go until it's done, which makes for some ridiculously short nights. And my parents do not live at the farm. Um, my great uncle used to live in the house here and they sold it and my parents had already built a house. So they stayed in their house. Um, so it is helpful to have a bedroom here. We also have a full bathroom, shower, washer and dryer, which is really, really handy so you don't ruin yours at home. So all of the heavy duty stuff goes through there. And then, you know, the stuff that's normally in a bathroom. So that is the shop and the office and everything else. I don't think that I missed anything. I think I covered all of my bases, but I will do another video later on that covers all the other sheds and equipment and stuff like that. But yeah, my dad did a really good job like coming up with like setting everything up really well. Like I said, he had plenty of experience, he knew exactly what he wanted and made it happen. So that's what hard work will get you.